Hi everybody, my name's Aaron. I'm a sales tech here at Nagios Enterprises, and I'd like to welcome you to this series on reporting and graphing in Nagios XI. The important thing to know is that Nagios XI is so much more than simply an alerting tool with things like availability reporting, SLA reporting, capacity planning, multi-stack graphing, and more, Nagios XI gives you the ability to do the reporting and graphing you need to be able to see beyond the alerts and really understand what's going on in your infrastructure. In this series, we're going to cover different reports based on which edition of Nagios XI you have. We're going to talk about the different types of data that Nagios XI records, and we're going to take a look at your graphing options. Let's jump right into the interface. All right, in this section, we are going to cover how the reporting page works generally. And then in later videos, we are going to go through reports each on their own individually. Now, it's important to know that Nagios XI records two different types of data. There is performance data and state data. Performance data is going to be things like CPU utilization and bandwidth and RTA and metrics such as those, whereas State data is going to be one of four things. Uh, a host is either going to be in an OK, warning, critical, or unreachable state. So, and you can see that here, like this availability summary, is based on state data. So you're going to see four colors over here on this side, OK, warning, critical, and unknown. Whereas if we go to something like bandwidth usage, which uses performance data, you're going to see all these interesting peaks and valleys and different sorts of things that you can do. So as you're deciding which reports you're going to run and which ones make the most sense for your environment, keep in mind the two different types of data and how that affects how Nagios XI reports. We can jump right back here. So this is the main reports page, and it's always going to serve up the availability summary first. Up here in the top portion is the stuff that we want to take a look at. This is generally going to be the same no matter which report you're running. So you can choose the time period for the report, whether that's a day or yesterday or a week or a custom time period. You can limit the report to any one individual uh, host that you might find there. The host group you can choose or you could cho choose a service group. Um, the advanced toggle is actually pretty cool. When you click that, then you get a whole bunch of other options that you can use for your reporting. So say we're going to choose Linux servers, and then we'll click that box. And then we go right here to run, and that runs the report for us. And there is your report with all the information that you were looking for. From there, once we've decided which reports to run and how we want to slice and dice the data, we can go to this star and we can add it to my report. So it's basically your opportunity to save that report and then you can continually run it as it is useful to you. And we might call this one the Linux Servers Availability Report. We save it and you'll see that it appears here in the My Reports section. This is our Linux Servers Availability Report. And when you would click on my reports, you're going to get that. You're going to have the option to edit the report. And you could also go ahead and delete that report. Oh, there, we deleted it. And now it's gone. So you could add to your reports. The schedule this report is an enterprise feature. So that's reserved for the enterprise edition. It allows you to schedule reports to send uh, at specific times, like you could send a report at 9 a.m. Monday morning, or every morning at 9, or weekly, or monthly, or however you wanted to deliver your reports. Uh, so that is a great, great feature in the Enterprise Edition. Uh, you can email reports. This is the, the, the email button here. And again, with the scheduling feature, you can schedule those to email. You can download all sorts of things, combined CSV, host and service CSVs as a PDF or as a JPEG. And then anytime that you're going to see in the reporting section, this question mark, you are going to have a video right there in the interface that is going to give you some more tips on how to run the particular report that you're looking at there. So other cool things, when you click up here, you could download the, the chart that you're looking at specifically, like it's this chart right here as PNG, JPEG, PDF, or as a vector image. 
And then also we can use this button to add any report to a dashboard. So that wraps up the overview of reporting. And in the upcoming videos, we are going to dive into the differences between standard edition reports and enterprise edition reports. And we'll go through each one and show you how they work. Thanks for being here. Keep watching.